So the San Jose mission, um, the, the upper boundaries will be um, just below Oakland. Um, there's Pleasanton and, and Dublin and um, Livermore. Those are all included in the, in the San Jose mission and anything above that is the Oakland mission. Um, then it goes as far down as King City and Salinas. Salinas is where you get most of the groceries. If you go to Walmart and you look at like your produce, um, a lot of those will be from Salinas, California. Um, and then Monterey Bay was in our was in our mission as well. Um, Monterey, Monterey Bay Aquarium. A lot of missionaries went there on P Day. Um, and the beach. Uh, I, I hear most mission presidents they say where the sand begins, the mission ends. Well, our mission president, he loved the beach, um, President Watkins. So he said, yeah, for sure, go on the beach, just don't go in the water. So P days would be fun, uh, filled with fun, um, beach volleyball and whatever you can do on the beach. Um, what else about the San Jose mission? While I was there, we had a couple pilot programs going on. So we, we weren't allowed to knock doors. In fact, our mission president threatened that if we were to knock a door, we'd get sent home. Um, which is strange because growing up my entire life, I thought missionary work was knocking doors for hours on ends. Um, but instead what we did is we did service projects. So we had a goal of 10 to, to 14 hours of service every single week. And it can be found in soup kitchens to just picking up trash on the street, uh, working in different, um, places where we could volunteer putting together sack lunches for, for kids, for schools, um, a wide variety of different things. Um, just to get our name out was, was the kind of the concept, just to, to show, you know, missionaries are there, and really the church is there just for everyone to, to benefit from. Um, we aren't just there to, to bring people into the church. We're there to bring them closer to Christ. And people could recognize that as we just went up and down their streets looking for opportunities to serve them, just as Christ would. Um, so we we also relied a lot on the members, you know, because we, we still needed people to teach. So we, we would ask for referrals nonstop and we would we'd contact on the streets. So we, we, we couldn't knock on doors, but we could contact on the streets. So we'd shoot for 140 contacts uh, every week, uh, just talking to people on the street and doing whatever we could to invite them to come closer to Christ and sharing our, our, our gospel with, or the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. Yeah, there was a lot of different languages in, in San Jose. Like I mentioned, um, it's kind of a melting pot of a, a lot of different cultures. So we had um, Vietnamese speaking elders, Chinese, Mandarin, uh, American Sign Language, English, um, Spanish, Tongan, Samoan. We had a couple of Fijian missionaries who would, who would teach in some branches. Um, i trying to think about forgetting any specifics. But for me personally, actually, I got to serve in a Tongan branch. I was also covering an, an English ward at the time. <laughs> and it, it was so much fun just to be among the Tongan culture. Um, and it, it's amazing how, much, how different it is, but at the same time, how much it is the same when it comes to the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, I got to learn a little bit of the language and invited my, my first investigator to be baptized in, in Tongan, um, which was great. Um, as far as... Uh, maybe some history. Uh, I was serving in the seaside ward in the Tongan branch and it's in the, what they call the DLI ward, Defensive Language Institute, which is where the military sends um, all those who will be learning different languages to basically just kind of like the MTC, you just go and you just learn a language straight for however many weeks and that's all you do is focus on the language. And so a lot of members of the church will come from this ward, will, will come from this, um, well, the DLI, and they'd come to church and um, basically all they do all day is go to their classes, come home and um, be with their family. So it was definitely a, a difference in the ward there because people would come in and out. They'd be there for you know, six weeks to six months, um, just learning the language or whatever it is and then getting out. So the ward was actually very large because they needed a lot of people to, to hold callings. So we had anywhere from a couple hundred at church to almost a thousand um, being in, in this church in this chapel and from what I heard the chapel actually um, it started off as a just a gym uh, a gymnasium for some of the the local troops to come and just play basketball and and to relax and then as the the members grew they decided to, to add on uh, a chapel and again as it continued to grow they added some classrooms they added a, a baptismal font 
And so, whereas most churches have a way to kind of get around all the classrooms, that the center of this church was the gym. So if you wanted to get to a different class, you'd have to walk through the gym and everyone was always walking through. So that's just a little um, history I, I remember learning. The, our mission covered 11 different stakes and we had 12 zones as missionaries when we cover all those stakes and every ward had at least a set of missionaries. And as the age change came into effect, I was on my mission for about six months when that came into effect. Um, we started getting more missionaries to, to cover the same boundaries. So we started to have two to three sets of missionaries within a ward. Um, ward I, honestly, I think San Jose has a, a really big population of, of uh, members. There's a, a lot of members that come from, um, from San Jose. Um, the, the closest temple is the Oakland Temple. So everyone would have to make kind of like a trek to the, to the Oakland Temple. If you're, especially if you're from Salinas or Monterey, you have to make that, that long drive up to the Oakland Temple. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping someday they get a temple in San Jose. I think a lot of the members would, would really enjoy that. 